The chambers of waking and repose are two very mysterious rooms that have appeared a few times throughout the series. The chamber's true purpose and link between them is unknown, however they both hold a certain importance to Xemnas. Welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts lore video, today for you guys we're going to be discussing exactly what these chambers are and why they are important. The chambers of waking and repose are two separate rooms found in different locations. The chamber of waking is a room that can be found within Castle Oblivion, when Ark was sealed away the land of departure using Master Ericus's Keyblade at the end of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. It transformed into that of Castle Oblivion, and along with it, the Chamber of Waking was created. This was a trick that Ericus explains their predecessors used in order to cast away the Land of Departure to keep it safe from any threats, and that anyone who would venture into the transformed world would be lost to oblivion. Aqua used the Chamber of Waking as a safe place for Ventus to rest until he wakes, as she is the only one who knows the whereabouts of the Chamber's location, and the only one who is able to undo the seal. The Chamber of Repose was created not too long after the Chamber of Waking. It's located in Radiant Garden underneath the Heartless Manufactory, and was created by Anson the Wise. The purpose behind the Chamber of Repose's creation was used by Ansem and his apprentices to research the darkness that resides within people's hearts. After a while, Anson came to realize that his research was becoming dangerous, so he sealed away the chamber. However, Apprentice Xehanort didn't agree, and after he split himself into two people, Anson, the Seeker of Darkness, and Xemnas, Xemnas created a room at the back. This could be considered the heart of the chamber, a place where Xemnas goes to regain memories of his past, the past of people who he's made up of, Terra and Xehanort. During the conversation between Zigbar and Zexion in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Zigbar refers to both of the chambers as graveyards, and this is most likely to do with the purpose behind the Chamber of Repose, as it was used to research darkness within people's hearts, possibly meaning that there were once countless amounts of people's hearts stored within the chamber for the purpose of research. However, the graveyard comment doesn't exactly make too much sense when looking at the Chamber of Waking. We have to keep in mind that we don't know the exact purpose behind the Chamber of Waking, other than it's being used as a safe bay for Ventus to rest. We also shouldn't assume that Zigbar knows too much about the Chamber of Waking, as no one other than Aqua has actually found it. Other than Xemnas using the Chamber of Repose to regain past memories, he also uses it to talk to someone. This someone is Aqua, or more specifically Aqua's armor that Aqua used to save Terranaut, as she didn't want Terra's body lost in the Realm of Darkness. The apprentices stored Aqua's armor and keyblade within the Chamber of Repose, and here Xemnas speaks to it, referring to it as a friend. Because Xemnas is the nobody of Apprentice Xehanort, a man made up of both Master Xehanort and Terra's heart, Xemnas has memories of his previous selves, and hence the reason he refers to the armor as friend. Xemnas eventually discovered Castle Oblivion and sought to use it as a second base of operation, and to mainly research memories as it has strong ties to wiping out the memories of those who step foot in the castle. However, was that Xemnas's true intentions of taking over Castle Oblivion, or was there more of a specific purpose. Going back to the conversation between Zigbar and Zexion, Zigbar mentioned to Zexion that the Chamber of Repose is part of a pair, the second being the Chamber of Waking, even though it was constructed by someone other than Xemnas. Zigbar explains that the Chamber of Waking is where Xemnas will find his other friend referring to Ventus. So the question here is, how did Xemnas figure out that Ventus lies within the Chamber of Waking? You might be thinking, well, Aqua sort of spilt the beans in 0.2 Birth by Sleep and practically told Terranaut that Ven is in the Chamber. However, the Terra we see in 0.2 is simply an illusion of Terra from the way that Aqua remembers him. So theoretically, we can assume that the same can be thought of for Terranaut when he appears in this scene, not the actual Terranaut, unless this conversation takes place sometime after both Ansem and Xemnas were destroyed by Sora, then technically yes, Terranaut could physically be here. The answer is that either Terranaut reported back to either Xehanort or Xemnas with the information, or Xemnas somehow used Aqua's armor to receive the information. Zigbar mentioned that Xemnas would spend a lot of time in the Chamber of Repose talking to someone. It could be possible that this is actually Aqua's armor, a similar case to the Lingering Will, as we know the Lingering Will could actually communicate with Sora. There are still a lot of lingering mysteries to do with both chambers and the connection between them. At this point, Xemnas and the Seekers of Darkness have not found the Chamber of Waking to find Vin and won't be able to do so without the use of Aqua. 
We also don't know why Xamnas is so desperate to find Ventus. It's likely that it does have something to do with Master Xehanort and bringing back Vanitas, which of course we already know happens in Kingdom Hearts 3. There is no doubt that Kingdom Hearts 3 will provide us with more closure towards these rooms and the mysteries that lie within them. However guys, that's all for today's video. It's great to be back doing more of these lore videos because honestly, it's been such a long time. With Kingdom Hearts 3 actually releasing later on this year, I do plan to focus on doing more of these lore videos so that people can actually catch up to speed before the release of the game. With all that being said though guys, I've been Cynical. Hopefully you dudes are having an absolutely fantastic day and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hit them on the page, you'll be coming through stunning. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Look, crank, gaming up your bitch though. Catch me in the back playing Super Nintendo.